Do we really believe everything we see? The use of photo enhancing software is commonplace and video computer generated animation entertains us in films and online platforms. So far, live television and video broadcast has offered some measure of authenticity, particularly from reputable organizations. However, new research has started to evolve that enables real-time manipulation of facial expressions on video content. This has opened up a Pandora's box of potential applications, ranging from voiceover dubbing in films and to the much more topical issue of fake news, which has been subject to widespread attention. Join us as we meet Justice Thieves, a postdoctorate researcher at the Technical University of Munich who is currently working on facial capture and mapping technologies. It's a research topic where we uh, try to um, modify expressions in a target video. So the idea is to uh, do some kind of post-processing of existing video material and we are able to uh, transfer expressions from a source video to a target video. In the beginning we were interested in reconstructing the face geometry of a person, but later on we also realized that we can use these technologies to also track a person in a video. So uh, we also um, reconstruct the expressions of a person, so also the deformations of the face. Because we are able to photorealistically synthesize new images, we were able to uh, do this face-to-face -face application where we modify existing uh, video material. The system reconstructs both source and target actors using a dense photometric energy minimization. Using a unique subspace deformation transfer technique, the expressions are transferred from the source to the target actor. The source actor on the right is captured with a standard webcam. This input drives the animation of the face on the video shown on the monitor to the left. As you can see, the source actor can produce a convincing reenactment result. This manipulation of video content of well-known public figures is a real concern in the era of fake news. Equally important now is face-to-face -face forensic software, which can be used to identify manipulated content. We have several publications where we analyze how to detect such fake images, for example, the face forensics database that we built with the technology that we developed here. So we generated thousands of fake images and using this data set we are able to uh, um, train neural networks to detect such fakes. We are happy that also politicians like the European Commission is aware of this technology. So we had discussions uh, with them about upcoming elections and how to uh, detect fakes and how to um, fight against such fake news. Find out more about face-to-face -face technology in the research highlights article Face-to-Face, Real-Time Face Capture and Reenactment of RGB Videos in the January 2019 communications of the ACM.